Leaders need to continue to learn from their experience. And that requires trying things, experimenting, collecting data, reflecting on the data, talking to others, so that it's, it's a very comprehensive set of skills and attitudes and, and attributes that I think have to be worked on for a lifetime. This is the University of Chicago. We really admire work where we don't just have opinions, but we bring some data to bear, or some evidence to suggest that my view is, is perhaps closer to the truth than, than somebody who simply has an opinion. I tell my students that in order to be wiser younger, to learn the lessons of experience, to create a better future self, you have to collect the data of your experiences. So we have to write things down, because if you don't write it down, it doesn't exist. It's very much a tradition of Chicago, this empirical tradition. There are an, an incredible number of opportunities every day for people to try things. I think that the day-to-day the -day life of business people is an incredible laboratory for self, growing self-awareness and self-discovery. I give every student a green pen. And the idea is that it's a symbol, a symbol of hope, to use this green pen to collect the data of their experience. And then what you're doing is you're creating feedback for yourself. You're becoming your own coach. Linda was one of my favorite because she made me think about myself uh, in a different way. You are leading your life, so you have to analyze yourself first. The leadership program within Booth completely enables you to um, to think first which kind of leader you want to be is not to looking at some of the leader and just replicate what they are doing. I take more time uh, to listen first and as well I prepare a lot. I think it's important to experiment with a lot of different uh, styles, especially when you're unsure which one is going to work. I think a trap is going exclusively with one approach that's comfortable for you. And there's a whole opportunity if you try different approaches to have different outcomes. Linda Ginzel, I remember vividly, stood on a table when she was presenting. And I remember looking around the room, she's a petite woman up on, this, uh, up on the table. And she said, this is quite unexpected. How many are uncomfortable? And I raised my hand and she said, you know, the risk of doing something like this is quite small, but what an impact this has made. Encouraging experimentation is a real challenge. One needs to find inter interesting ways and maybe somewhat playful and creative ways to do it. I think one of the, one of the things that, that, that can, I've seen be very helpful is when the leader of an organization makes a commitment to experiment, other people in the organization who work for that person basically conclude, hey, if she's doing it, maybe I should do it. I think my leadership style before I came to Booth was built on sort of business tenets, almost like you must do these 10 things to achieve certain boss-like tendencies. I was one of the youngest bosses and I was one of the few, few women, so it was very important to me in my mind to follow kind of those rules. Booth breaks down a lot of those barriers as well as the passage of time. And so you learn more about strength of ideas and that's not a checklist of things. My hope is that we will hold on to our belief in knowledge, our belief in an empirical approach to things, that we will continue to discover and try things. We take change seriously in two ways. What's important that we hold on to and not change? 
and where are there areas that we can change and experiment.